at sa uh, magwawali din ikaw utuhon. Salamat sa ginoo sa iyang panahon niya. Yung gihatag ka na ito, nag-ikatag yung susigyansan and uh, mag-speak sa ato ang uh, minikaw. God bless you. Mayong ugtos sa tanan. So, ang siya ng oras? 11.20. Kaya naman yun na no, we cannot, no, na, di, na to handle ang time, pero we can use the time properly. So karong nga hapon, ah, karong nga buntag hapon, na nasudu kayo kung mahuman na eh. Kaya buntag mo yun, yung naghapon na to. So I'll be talking about life, of course, we will go to be death. Kaya ito po din nga ma-remind po ito sa tumakin na buhay, and now we gonna use it for God's glory. So let's open our Bible in James 4, 13 to 17. Ingon diri sa New King James Version. Verse 13, come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a city, spend a year there, buy and sell, and make a profit. Verse 14, whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow. For what is your life, Ingo ni James? What is your life, ang tani ni James? Nagsulat tani. It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. So na ikaw mo tana, gi-answer po ni James, no? Pinagi. Na ang kinabuhi daw, usa lang siya ka, kabalong siya yung vapor, kano mga pimo, kanang aso, mawala ng dahil kalit, madali ng kaayos. So iana din ang life sa tao. So, in the case of verse 15, instead you ought to say, If the Lord wills, we shall live and do this or that. But now you boast in your arrogance, and all such boasting is evil. Yesterday, I was sudden with the news, right? Katong anak ni Pastor Jonah, na nasa Dubai. Dubai ba to? Namatay siya. Actually, Mura ka edad ni, yung kapot ko siya, pero grabe ko siya ka um, yung support sa ministry, and a good, tungod, siyempre, ang um, mayang family is in the ministry. Kung niya, kanang, mura nakalitan ko ba kayo, mura magkita mo man ako good siya. Sadden ba, sadden ang life. So, after Anna, I was thinking while preparing the circle, no, ano ko, what is life? Life is like a vapor, you will not know when, right? You will not know when. Pero maganda ang reminder sa Word of God always. Mga nang nag-remind sa ito kanunay. Mga nang dilisayang atong kinabuhi. Live it to the fullest. I mean, the fullest. No? Na dapat experience na ito ang kinabuhi. Uban yun ang ginawa. Yung anak ka, importante yun ang kinabuhi. And namatay siya. Di-chat ako si Pastor Byron. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, sakit yung maragula ko kabalo ba? Pero brain tumor di ay na na as I bring two more cancer, tapos wala na kuha na na, it goes down to the spinal cord and affected na na na. Ngay, minsan ba ang mga buk, ang mga putan ginawa mo na sa ginawa? Murag, kato siya buka, ang kito ka ayon, murag, asit sa ministry ba kung baga? Pero, again, we cannot test siya na. Dili po pitbot na din, kung ano niyo ito sa kino. Kaya, hindi, hindi, hindi. Na ay, I know if it's your time, then it's your time, right? So this morning, James is right. No, tama si James, ang half brother ni Jesus, ang nagsulat ani. Life is a vapor, just like a soul. No more, ano siya ang kana? Sa mga kape, like a morning mist. Kana pag matanim yun, na ay kana morag mga gamay-gamay nga tulog tubig mo na siya ang mist that soon vanishes. So life is short and uncertain. Bubu ang kinabuhi, na dili short ang kinabuhi. There are no guarantees about tomorrow. Muna, nagsulat si James na sa last, evil daw na ang mga thoughts na karun pa lang, manginangkog ka on sa iyong mga tumaha. Ano ko, ay, di ito yung maganda. Muna, mag-tag ko nga. Mano ka, Dere? O, pabubot on sa gino. O, pwede mga good ka. Kapag na, na yun ang naman ninyo nga, na mo'y plano ang iugma, pero di ligit insak to may tabo, no? So, dili, bisan ka na, dili na to handle. Gino ko pa rin yan, right? So, uncertain. There are no guarantees about tomorrow. So, let alone next year or 10 years from now, you may be, karoon yung katapad yan, and healthy. O, may dili, bisan, ikon ganyan, healthy man to siya, ano man to, ano, no? 
So, but you easily could be corpse or by sundown or dita ka balo or kanos ang adlaw. So, you may be thinking that, mingan siguro mo, ah, binuang na pastura, ano? I don't want to think about such things. Karun kay buhit na ko. But, pero, kung i-ignore na to din ang mga butang kaisuunan, we will not live properly sa atong life. Kung dilig na to niyo na nga, dilig na para diri. We are for eternity. Sasan ko ninyo? There is life here, there is death. Ang beautiful, kung natin ginoo, there is life after death. Pero, kung wa ta na kainas ginoo, kay ta. Wa ta kinabuhi. So, James want us to know that because life is a vapor, ang kinabuhi, kung saan ang murag mawala na siya dayon, we should, that will teach us that we should humble ourselves before God, and then we will obey His will. So, James in the beginning, he's teaching us, right? We will let them sit down, kaya murag makalingin dito sa ilahan, no? Hi, Pastor Isok, welcome. Come in, sige, para maano lang nato. We welcome the family of Pastor Isok. Auntie Deborah. Nasi mama dali, Auntie Sopran. You would like to join me. Sige. I go back. So, ulitin na ako. If we ignore these things, gadi na itong masamtan na itong life is uncertain, be it assured, then we will not live a life properly in light with eternity. Oh. Di ka mag-una-una na at kanang, di ka pang inabuhin din rin eh, huwag na unang trasa, kanang natin eternidad, no? So, so James wants us to know this morning na ang life na to is like a vapor, mawala lang dayon. That's why, understanding that meaning of that life, it will humble us as a person. O, oh, it will humble us as a person nga, wala gano'y kumahin mo kung wala ang ginoo. Before God, and of course, sundon ang iyahang kagubot-on. So, this morning, I'd like to share some few things about what is life? What is life? So, isa lang tabag ni James, life is, is a vapor. So, this, I'll be giving the three meaning from this life is a vapor. Kung saan ang kinabuhi, kung saan lang ka, kanang murag, aso sa kapi, wala na dayo. Number one, life is frail. Tingo ni James sa verse 13 to 14 of chapter 4, Come now, you who say today and tomorrow, we will go such and such a city and spend a year there and engage in business and make a profit. Yet you don't know what your life will be like tomorrow. But the text may read like this, you don't know what will happen tomorrow. Directly. Baka kabalungan sa'yo may tabuugma. We don't even know what will happen, happen 10 minutes from now. Kasi may nakabalo. Kung siya may tabo 10 minutes from now. <laughs> ah, kaan ko yan. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Alright, tawa. Right? So, ingo ni James, life is frail. Pwede ang young, the most healthy young person could be easily dead by night. Right? Just like one one of the old girls, ingon siya, masakit ako ulo, 11 years old. Okay, ingon niyo mama, sige, katulog lang dito. Eh, sakit man na yun yung ulo. Pagkaugma, namatay, 11 years old. Nga naman, because of brain aneurysm. You don't know what's life, yung mama simply lang naging ang tulog na dito. Natulog na gano'n, na yung matamata. Life is frail. Right? Dagang mga pangitabu, anak, nakikod lang man to siya. Look healthy man siya. Ano yung ato man? Tungod, we don't know. Kung sa'yo may tabo, ugma. Kaya nga, dili ka pwede manginang mo. Ugma, mauni, mauni. If this is the will of God, then it will happen tomorrow. Again, you may protest this morning that to think about such thing is very depressing. Pastor, ang ano mag-una ulang makana? Ang nabuhi man. Kailangan ato mag-una-una. Kaya nga itong kinabuhi, dili kita ang nanagiya. That way, we should live a life with a purpose, serving the Lord faithfully. We should give our life dedicated to Jesus. No? If, dili lang ka itong mga 75, si mama 76, dili lang si mama mo, ingon niya, ihatag na lang niya, dari sa panahon niya, tutiguan na siya, 
Bisa kita nga mga younger, ihatag din ato akong panahon sa ginoo. Kay ang kamatayan mga kaiksuunan is frail, wala na lang kabalong kong kanusa. So, tinikta, but if you don't ever think about them, then you will not live in a pro proper dependence upon God. Kaya kung tinikta maguna-una nga life is frail, life is like a vapor, then tinikta maging dependence sa ginoo, magkinabuhin na lang ta. We will just enjoy all those earthly blessings na dihatag ni Lord sa ato ka. And then we will not think of doing the work of the Lord or serving God faithfully. And you will be proudly make plans and go on about life as if you will be forever young and healthy. That's why po sa mga young and healthy, mga lagad, tas ginao. Right? Habang naatay, chance ng mga lagad. Yung sa heart, kapot ng panahon, nga dili na ta, makapangalagad sa ginao. Ano man, kangit-ngit na lang ka na. Mubalik na ang ginao. So life is real. One ng life is a big, big is a big one. Number two, life is short. Ang big for mga kaigsuunan is a short-lived one. You see a mist at one moment, and a few minutes later, it's gone. Kaya yung masakit nito, pag matani nyo, di ba na yaman ay mist? Pero pag mawala na po, mawala na po na siya. In your coffee cup, in just a second, it disappears in the air. Life is like that. That's why Moses in his laments in Psalms 19, The brevity of life, he compares life to the grass. Actually, he compares niyang kinabuhi sa usap at grass. Of the field that sprouts in the morning, unya pagkagabi, it faded under the heat of the sun. So he writes in verse 10, As for the days of our life, they could think 70 years. Or if due to strength, 80 years, kung ayaw kang kusog, Pwede pa 90 at i-divora. Pwede pa 100. Bang tuwa ni Mama. Yet their pride is bad, labor and sorrow. For soon it's gone and we fly away. So kita nga na kailas ginawain. Ano man itong kinabuhi? Life is certain. Then why not give it to God? Kabalo man di ay ta. Live a purpose na malipay ang ginoo. Because life is frail, life is short. Oo. O na mga kaigsuunan, ay di lang kayo na ito igugmawa na nga ito ang <laughs> what we have. Ito mga blessing ni Lord, that's the sign of really blessing us, pero we will enjoy. Right? We will enjoy. Even if you live to be a hundred, bisa na hundred pala yung edad, nandiyo ka matayo mga kaigsuunan. Life flies by. In verse 12, mo na naingon si Moses, he prays, he prays to God, so teach us to number our days to do it, Miginoo. Paano na mo pagamit ang mong panahon? That we may present to you a heart of wisdom. Para magamit na mo ang among kinabuhi na parang. Life is short. Next, death is certain. Ingo ni George Bernard, sa statistic niya, Ang death daw, very impressive yung statistic niya siya. One of one, one out of one people die. Sa ato pa, sa ten, kung ano ba, sa ten, ten food ka tao mamatay. You would think that because death is not just provable, but absolutely certain. Certain yun ang kamatayon mga kaigsuunan that it can happen at any moment at that each person must stand before God for judgment, kitang tanan, mamatay, mga tubang tas ginoo. Every person would be desperate to know how to get right with God. Pero strangely, people put it out in mind and go about life as they will live forever. Kabalutain siya diri, kita nga ni Kamuta, matama atong relasyon siya sa ginoo nga ni Kamuta. Pero nasabda na ito ang kinabuhin na ito ngayon ani. Pero sometimes, we live like Piling na ito forever ta din si kalibutan. Ha? Ang mga kaigsaunan? Right? Those catastrophes, catastrophes, mga hurricane, mga na siyang reminders sa ito ang, di ba, mga death, grabe. Oh, di be sure yun ang atong kinabuhi. Kaya Jesus taught us how to think when we hear about such disasters. Luke 13, 2 to 5, ingo niya, do you suppose that these Galileans were greater sinners than all the Galileans because they suffered this fate. Because some people, ano yung report to Jesus about the Galileans 
who pilot who pilots had slaughtered di pangpatay ni pai ni pilot i tell you no but unless you repent dimo niya you will like you will all likewise likewise perish kung di ka mo repent sa yung kinabuhi or do you suppose that those 18 on whom the tower of Solomon fell and killed them with culprits, if I tell you no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Sama na po mo nila. Kung di mo repent ka ron, wala mo kinabuhi na wala ka tapos. Right? So this morning, life is vapor. What is life? Life is vapor. Ingo ni James. Which means, life is short. Right? Death is certain. So, unsa man natong himoon, life is fair. So, this morning, in view of the fact that life is a vapor, bisan in ana atong kinabuhi, masalamat na, God is sovereign. He can do everything. He teaches us how to live purposefully at tubangan sa ginoo. Think this morning what God wants your life to look like. Oh, kung siya gusto, tanaw na una-una ang kanon, kung siya gusto si Gino sa imong kinabuhi. Right? Si Tatay Pedro, hindi na nato siya. He's just a reminder for us today na tinuod yun ang kamatayon. Right? So, kita na lang karong una-una ang kanon ang buhi ta. Maning kamot ta, kung hindi kamot yun ito, wag kayo sa una na walangit ta. Panglangit yun yun itong pagpangalagad. Kasi if you live, pangalagad na ito si Gino, we don't have purpose, then let's stop serving the Lord. Pero kung makagsunan natin purpose pang langit, pang eternidad, then let, let us live a life with a purpose. Kaya nga sabi ni James, si Tag Panginampo, kung sa may tabo nga, kung nakabalo nga, mura mo din yung kinabuhi. And ang description pa niya sa kananaga Panginampo, those are evil. Kuya, no? Kung <laughs> ilang lugay ka nga, ugma, mako ako sa akong 10 million at i-grace, sa daan ta kag 5 million. <laughs> Ugma. Right? Ay maganda. Hindi ay maganda. Oops. Sige. Kung kabubot mo natin, Grace, sige nung atagaan ko mag-10 million. Tagaan na ka. Ay, that's why dili na ito kalimtan na we need to be dependent on God. Because atong kinabuhi, hindi ka nilang po sa ginoo. So, this morning, let's be encouraged to live a life purpose for you. Iha si Ginoo, mga lagad na mga tigodanan si Ginoo. Father, we thank you for your message this morning. Help us to live a life that is blessing to you. Help us to understand that our life here in earth is short. It's just like a vapor. This is what the Bible says, your word says. Father, help us to understand Ginoo ang inipulong karo na hapon. Ma-apply na mo sa mga kinaboy. Bless everyone here this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen.